Good evening folks and uh, welcome. Um, uh, you might think that we're on this uh, cassette deck, uh, the Decker cassette deck, but we're not. We're on the... Uh, we're on this Danset 30, G32 amplifier. Out of the Danset G32 ampli out of G Dan out of the Danset G32 record player. I've done this before. <coughs> this is the one I got with the with a fried output transformer, and I got it working. But it's always had an issue. You know, it's always had an issue of it crackling and. To be perfectly honest, it just sounded absolutely lousy. Anyway, what I've done, I've got to crack on because we've got some work coming I've got to do. Well done, I'll let you have a listen and I'll, I'll explain what I've done. It'll only be a quick listen because I don't know where my tape is with Silly Mitch on it, so we've only got Guy Mitchell, I'm afraid. But I'll turn this on and we should all start to warm up. The valves are glowing. Press play. Warms up fairly quick. Treble's working. There was hardly no treble on it. Bass. And that's the uh, <clears throat> that's the amplifier working. In fact, that's working better than it's ever worked during my ownership, and it's probably working better than what it ever did <coughs> before that. Because to be honest with you, folks, we're going to move this cassette deck now because we're going to start to reassemble the original record player. The reason why. I think it had the issues. Let's just desolder these. Uh, I soldered them together because it was easier. Right. Right. So basically, the the issue was it was See, I want to sell this and I want to get rid of it, but you all know me, it has to be right. You know? You all know me, folks. If, I got, if I'm going to sell something, it has to be spot on. Or as spot on as I can possibly get it. So, it was very shrill as well, the amplifier. I know you've not really had a very good demon demonstration of it there, but I'll give you a better one once I'm putting it, once I've got it all back together. But uh, I do need to get it back together. I need it off the bench, and I need it off the bench now, really, because, like I say, I've got uh, got some hi-fi repair coming uh, from uh, from a lad, and he wants it done, so. It doesn't want me to rush it, obviously not, because I don't rush. I take my time and I do things, I do things correctly. <coughs> but I do... <coughs> I do need to get started on it, so... This dance set is about as good... This dance set is about as good as you're probably ever going to get it. Um, I mean, people go on about how good dance set amplifiers were and that kind of thing. In reality, folks, uh, if I'm perfect, if I've got to be perfectly honest, the only thing good about dance set amplifiers is they no longer make the damn things. Because I'll be perfectly honest now, they were crap. A lot of them were. I mean, admittedly, these T32s weren't bad. Uh, 
the they did a put they did one or two push put uh, video on they did one push pull one that I've so that I noticed and it, it too wasn't bad but for the most part most of them were junk but move some tools and that way I can get to I can get to stuff on the bench that I need I also need the cartridge clip for this fella so he's on here somewhere he better be if not then we're going to be super gluing him in that's not the one probably fucking fell down on the floor somewhere saying that I could put a fucking what do you call it in this uh, I could put a TC8 in it. I have got a TC8 that will go in it, a brown one. But there's another thing you see. The uh, there is more output now because I put a TC8 on it. On the I put a, I put a TC8 on the, these wires, a medium medium sensitivity one, and it was louder than what it was when I took it apart because I tried it before I took it apart. Hence the reason why I took it apart. <clears throat> so what I'll do? I'll show you what I'll do with the amp. I'll turn it around and look how neat all that is. I'll turn it around for the camera. Uh, I've done a lot of work on this. That's your wire to your uh, to your pickup. Uh, what I've done, I've done all these resistors in here. I've done all these. I've done the capacitors. Um, <coughs> put a new bulb in it. And I've changed the speaker because the speaker that was in it was 50 micro Henry's, uh, 56 micro Henry's, and the one I've put at uh, four ohms. Uh, and this one is this one is a bit more efficient. It's uh, it's uh, 33 micro Henry's at four ohms, so it's a bit more efficient. Give a bit more volume, hopefully. Right, and there's the underneath of the chassis. As you can see, I've done a nice, neat job. I've not replaced any of the resistors I was going to, but I've not because they're all pretty much on the money. So, I've not done the smoothing capacitor, there's no need. It's on the money. Uh, I've done the electrolytics, I did them the last time I visited this. I did the electrolytics here and here last time and there's another one I did this time and oh this green one that green polyester I did that this time <coughs> and I also did I also did the uh, the green polyester which is on top of the output transformer. I did that one as well. I want to double check that one actually. It might read the value of the fucking transformer, but we'll try it. I want to, oh, I want to change the speaker wires over as well. I want to connect him to the asshole. Back to there. So there might have some fucking power in this fucking thing actually. There we go. Yeah, it's just showing the DC resistance. Inductance. The induction to the transformer is 625.0 micro henrys and the DC resistance is 530 at, eight, at dot 0.8 ohms so we know it's an 8 ohm transformer or at least that's what it says 
but be great these meters because it didn't test the capacitor. But there again, but there again, I'm not mad about that. Uh, didn't test it because it tested. Decided to go for the. What I want to do is swap these two wires over because it's pushing instead of pulling. Or is it pulling it pulling instead of pushing? <coughs> I'm just gonna check which is ground. Oh well, might be the right way around. That one's te that one's one point zero. Nothing there really on that. Let's see what's on this one. Point six. So my, my, my soldering station doesn't have to buzz his tits off. <coughs> right, I'm not going to change them round because I think it's right. needed to I could just nip in and do it but. right so move all this stuff out of the way because we'll put that on top of our speaker for a minute no I better not because uh, that's seems to rub that speaker but uh, So I'll shift all this crap out of the way. And what we're going to do now, we're going to attempt. I just hope this isn't higher than the original speaker. I don't think it's been the same size, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I can soon double check that now, can't I? I mean, this speaker, in all fairness, I will try and do something with this. Because it's a good speaker. It might not rub once it's been used, once it's screwed in, bolted into somewhere. But this is an heavier one. I want to try. Oh, actually. Actually, our replacement is a little bit, little bit a fraction. It's a fraction smaller. Our replacement, so we're all right there. Uh, I mean, I won't throw this one away because it's still working. It's just got a bit of damage. I won't throw it away. I mean, it's still get used for something. There's something out there that needs a speaker. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll bring the record player <coughs> cabinet back up. Right, 
it, so we're all right in there now. But we're not, because I keep hearing this sort of drop. That was it. <coughs> the blob of solder. <coughs> Now what I'd like to do is find the screw to go in there. I did have one but I lost it yesterday. So what we'll do we'll I've got this uh, Mullard module here which I'm not using and it's got the perfect size nut and bolt so I will do something with them Mullard modules, I've got two of them I will do something with them, uh, some sort of a project with them at some point so what we'll do next is lift the amplifier up where I don't want to smash the valves or I don't want to be I want to be in a I don't want to be in a position where I smash the valves so what we'll do we'll pop our screw through that's perfect and I want to be careful where I put my fingers because I've not long had this fucking thing on either right so screwdriver. I'm only going to really need the one tool for most of the reassembly of this. Now, now if I put me, put me, it's a bit overcrowded on this Ben Sat radio that belongs to that fucking dickhead Sean that's going to have to go. It's going to be relegated to the shed until me and Steve get around to working on it. I'll be perfectly honest and when I say dickhead Sean I mean that Sean who uh, did, uh, who had to go to Steve, because uh, I'm doing some work for a lad called Sean, who was here today, and uh, I don't mean him. Um, don't want to get confused. The lad who came today is the lad who had the Ultra off me the other week, I remember the Ultra? He had that off me the other week and he's very happy with it. And what we'll do is screw this down. There we are. I mean there's still a bit of movement there but you're never going to get rid of it unfortunately. And I'm leave that screwdriver out because we're going to use that a lot. But there is another screw that goes in here at the top into the woodwork, so that that, 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 that supports it. Now we've got the light and everything in, yeah. Ah, my soldering station stopped buzzing its tits up. Finally. There's me... There's me... Does that come out of that end? Yeah, I would imagine it does. Right. I did all the power lead as well on this and I shrink I sh I sleeved everything. Do you know something? Tell you now, folks. This fucking amp, I think it goes in a lot easier than when it came out. Just pop, pop, pop down there, yeah. 
Uh, this app goes in a lot easier than what it bloody came out, folks. I'll tell you that. And this has to go further up here. And we're not quite level. Uh, but we will be. We just need to just lift. Give it a shove. There we are. Get us level. There we are. Right, so that's right there. That's right. <coughs> and now what we do? Get off the speaker. <coughs> oh, I'm not well, folks. I've got man flu. Yeah, Andy's got man flu, folks. Still, we can't allow this to keep it. We can't allow this to stop us, can we? We have to get the job done. These things have to keep. Does that go in that way? Yeah. Yep. Right. The only awkward one really is down where the <coughs> down where the grid cap goes on. And I've nearly knocked the just put that back as it should be, I nearly knocked the Nearly knocked the bull boulder off. Right. I might have to take the bull boulder off anyway to get that fucking screw there in. That's going to be an hard one to get to. And we've got one more. I think we've got one more. Yep. So if you put them all in roughly where they need to be, when it comes to sticking them all in, the only problem really I've got is that grid cap. Because there's a screw that needs to go in. There we are. And what I'll do now, I'll start each screw off. Now I'm gonna put this on for I'm gonna put this up for sale, but I'm just selling it as it is. <coughs> oh God. God. I'm not doing any more service work to this thing. It's going out as it is, it's working perfectly. If you think I'm happy with that, you're wrong because I can see a gap under the screw. Let's turn that one, I mean. That one's down. I'll come back to that one. I think the loud crackling that was coming I 
I think the loud crackling that was coming from this originally was caused through that capacitor being the wrong value on the output transformer. Saying that, could have even been a loose audio output valve, could have been anything. But after doing my remedial checks, it seems to have cleared it. Gonna be the difficult one to get to, it's actually one of the easiest. There we are. As long as we get the screwdriver in the middle of the slot, keep it level. You can just get past, you can just get past the light. This one, I said, oh, I've got a. Oh, I feel like rotten. I feel ill, folks. I really do feel not well. That's it. Oh. I've got to take the plug off now because I have to feed the plug, feed the wire through the plug. So now the plug has to come off. <coughs> but I only loosely put the plug on. I mean I didn't put it through the cord grips or anything. I only loosely put the cord put the plug on. top of the plug back on so I don't lose it because obviously we're going to reuse the plug without a shadow of a doubt we don't buy plugs here at Vintage Electronics Repair we certainly don't waste our money doing that we only buy plugs if we have to <sighs> just get a cloth down here folks I need to I need to blow my snozzer Why do we always look in the handkerchief after we've blown our nose? I do it. Everybody I know does it. I can't fucking understand why I like, but there's supposed to be a grill on the back of that, but it's missing, so I'm not going to worry about it because I've got nothing to put on there, so I've got nothing that I can fit in there. We've got a knot at the back here, the lead. That's a, that'll do us a strain relief. We've got a generous amount of wire on this as well. It's a good, it's got a good generous power cord on this record player. It's not bad. But it'd been very well messed with this thing when I got it, so. <coughs> oh, yeah, the tone arm's a bit damaged on the head as well. I might look to see if I've got one of those. Oh. There's no mechanism service here, you've already seen it service this mechanism. There's a video of me doing it actually, this very mechanism. So there's no mechanism service on here. We're just gonna. screwdriver so I can put my wires back into me into my chocolate block 
so that uh, the only area I do, I don't really use chocolate blocks folks, and the only area I do is when I'm putting motors back in, because it's easier, and it's a lot, so it makes a lot more sense if I have to go back in and do a repair in the future. It's a lot easier rather than fuck about. So I always put a chalk. If there's not one there, I always put one on. But uh, this one was provided. So whether it was provided from new, I believe it was. It was screwed to the back. It was actually screwed to the motorboard. Uh, but and the whole way it was done was really a bit Heath Robinson. And it was a real mess, this. Uh, Steve will tell you, he's seen it as well. When I first got this um, this player, it was a real mess. I'm just doing some remedial work. Because I'm not happy with the way it sounded. And I just think it's capable. Of sounding better than what it did. So basically that was why I've done the work to just bring just bring the sound back up really, I mean as far as I'm concerned the rest of the fucking player I'm not really bothered. Uh, cosmetically I'm not really bothered about. I mean it'll never look mint but Somebody will want it. You know, somebody out there saying, I wish I had a Danset G32. Or somebody saying, I wish somebody could sell me a Danset G32. What, we fucking saw the mine and stopped working then? The tip's gone black. Still working now. So what we'll do, we'll put that solder there for a minute. We've got loads of solder that fell on the floor. I need to go walk around and pick that up. Right, so our... That's our negative there. Our positive goes to here. black so I mean drop that and I'll I'll pick that up because I can see it <sighs> right I don't know what's going to happen here I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with the way that's going to sit on there. Let's clean this bucket. See what this is doing here. Is that supposed to come to there? That's supposed to. I 
Okay. Yep. Yeah. Then all I need to do is solder our wire. So there, that's it. Let us make sure that we're not caught up in the mechanism anywhere. Drop that. Oops. Sledge, drop that up to there. There we go. Push that in there. Let's get our, our, our inspection panel. I'm not putting that on because I'm worried, I'm putting that on because it'll increase the base response. Not supposed to lift up that, I'm sure it is. Maybe not. There, there we go. Now we can put our plug back on. that one and this is a negative or the neutral or the ground depending on what part of the world you're in <coughs> we call it the neutral or well, in some places it's known as the B plus or the hot I don't know, but I think, I think we're the only country to have a fuse in our plugs, aren't we? I don't think they have a fuse in them anywhere else in the world. I mean, we are, when it comes to electricity and 
one or two other things. We are well, we are a very safe nation, us British. You know, we. Uh, I don't like the American plug, I mean, theirs is just a fucking piece of plastic and a piece of cardboard hiding the wires. I saw a radio TV phone or not putting, putting, not putting one on the other day, well, a couple of weeks ago or something daft. I mean, yeah, definitely not folks. Not for me that. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we're gonna put a fucking. At the end of the day, we're gonna be plugging something in. There we are. <coughs> you want it to at least be fucking safe. Then we had that other, what do you call him, uh, uh, V Westlife, is it? Uh, called our plug Big and Ugly. Yeah, Big and Ugly, maybe. This is fucking safe. Phillips to screw that one in. So I'll take the small one out of it. But this is the way we do it in the UK. People want to tell us our plug is big and ugly, they can go ahead and do so. But if they can make a say I'd like to challenge them to make a safer one. I mean, there we are. See, we we used to we used to have a reputation in the United Kingdom of uh, houses and things burning down, and the you know a reputation a lot of places in the world have still got, but we changed our plug. We're on. Well, that bulb's bright. Like it's on the inside of the whole fucking unit. Right. Let's get this cartridge in. I'm just going to hold it on the record just to see what it sounds. Oh, now the fucking wires come off. You fucking asshole. You always get it, don't you? Ah. Stay in that head shell. What's not fucking going on? I know I'm going to get somebody in the comments say you shouldn't solder onto a cartridge. Well, I'm not I'm soldering onto a pin. I'm going to get somebody to say it. Quite honest for the length of time that's there. Can't see you fucking hurting it. Yeah, I did have two nuts through there, they fell out. The Garrard band just fell out, which I've got there. I think one of those nuts is fucking round there. But I need 
to Alright, we'll see if we're pulling enough output and I hope I haven't knocked the wire off for the fucking let's turn the volume up. Why are we getting fucking crackling now? to start this oh there's plenty there we get a bit of crackling to be honest I'm not that asked about that for the minute oh, oh. whoa I've just dropped it oh for fuck's sake it's come off the wreck Whoa, oh, look at that, whoa. I'll tell you what. Plenty of output there. Let's just drop this on here. It's not letting me get to the fucking hell. me get to the record right it will this time plenty of output there anyway so I think the amplifiers I just want to hold this on here bloody hell fuck the fucking thing you know you've just got to get it right otherwise it's Oh, well, that ain't going to go over. Right, so what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to stop it at the 10 inch so I've got plenty of room. There we are. It's because I'm moving the arm across and um, I just want to see what it sounds like. Plenty there though. I mean, I definitely... I definitely think I'm gonna to have to put the cartridge in the thing. There's plenty of that, I mean. Missed it. There's plenty there, folks. I mean, I think the amplifier's definitely fixed. It's certainly giving more than what it was, was given earlier. I mean, this stylus I've got a replacement, so I'm not bothered about banging the stylus about. Oh, this record's a bit trashed as well, so I'm not even concerned about that.
there was plenty in there anyway folks so I just need to sort the uh, cartridge out now but there's plenty in there anyway so I'm happy about that <coughs> I don't know why we're getting crackled there though. Might just be crap. Right, so I need to find the cartridge clip. Clip the cartridge back in. And uh, play a record on it properly, folks. I mean, I've got, I don't know where the, I did have a cartridge clip for that, I've put it somewhere. You know when you put something down, you think I'll put that there because I know where it is. Oh, there it is. There we go. Let's pull the head shell off, so maybe we can have the Philly Shame Twist after all. I don't like pulling these fucking head shells. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, because this cartridge is staying with it, all I'm going to do folks, I'm just going to put to choose that. Paint it on. There we are. Put that there for a second. Get you on a head shell. I mean, the cartridge can be replaced. because it has a little clip so it can be clipped out so it's not, not really a, an issue <coughs> that it's there and it's not we're never going to be able to be taken out and the, the, these BSR cartridges are still plentiful still about people want stupid fucking money for them but they're still about Yep, yeah, that's it. Right, let's get our little... Put that there in a minute. Let's get our little garage badge. Put that there. I mean this this head shell is not the best but it'll do. I mean you know, all it has to do really is convey the cartridge to the record. There we are. Right, let's take these records off. Put that there. I need to set the weight and everything, I've not done any of that yet. Let's turn it around so I can get to the controls. <coughs> <coughs> I'm 
I've got to put the lid back on. Not quite on there. Something catching under there. You know, it's always the fucking same, and it you just think you got it right, and just turn that off. Oh, oh, you bastard! There's something catching and dragging it, dragging the arm back. Just, and the thing is, you can't fucking. Turn it off a minute. Now let's see. Turn it back on. Come off now, look. Yeah, twat. There we go. Still not fucking. light actually might be too light yeah that's way too light yeah that's way too light I mean it is dragging back slightly but it's way too light that is for sure so what we'll do we'll get the screwdriver Just, I know it is too light. Might be able to turn that with my finger actually. Turn that in a bit. <coughs> What's it catching on? Lift that out and have a look. I'm not happy with that. Because even though it is a bit on the light side, it should still play it that way. It shouldn't be a problem. And that's why I didn't do the inspection panel for me up. So it could be catching the power lead or anything on the back of the arm, you see, and that's where you look. There we are. We're catching that bar there. We're catching that, what that was that wire catching on that bar? There we are, you see. Feed that back. There we are. Right. Again, see if it plays this time. It should. There we are. That's 
not bad. Here's so unique. Only It's made for every face by a new technique. Let's play! for a minute. Well, I'm going to put a new stylus in anyway, but the last thing you want is the inspection panel falling on it. But what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put the lid on without the inspection panel. That's how it should be. He's howling at the clock. Sounds a bit slow, this, but garage generally are because BSRs are generally seem to be a bit fast. <coughs> but I will double check the motor before it goes. And obviously, put a new stylus in it. Yeah, but. Got yeah, plenty there, isn't they? I mean, I don't understand that crackly. They didn't do that when it was on the bench. I'm gonna play the Philly Shave Twist one more time, folks. In fact, what I'll do, we have the other one that hasn't had an outing for a bit, has it? in here. Well, status quo, cool. don't play that. <coughs> Jesus. Right. I'll play two records for you. We'll play, we'll have the finish out twist and we'll also have the KTEL exerciser. Exercise Man, welcoming you to a new you. 
because KTEL takes much pleasure in introducing you to the multi-exerciser. The exerciser that's designed to give you the shapely, healthy body that you've been looking for. Now, look at yourself in the mirror. If you want to get rid of that pop belly or spare tire, or maybe just turn up your muscles. I do, I do. You really yes. can. Just a few minutes with the exerciser every morning and evening is all you need to do. The KTEL multi-exerciser is a very simple device to use. All you need is a convenient place to attach it, like a door handle that's about waist high. But make sure no one can open the door while you're doing your exercises. The room should have plenty of fresh air with a carpet or a rug to lie on. And you could also have a cushion to put under your hips if you need it. Now take advantage of the privacy of home to wear the absolute minimum of clothing so you're not restricted in your exercising. Now before going on to the exercises, make sure you have read the exerciser instructions carefully so that you'll be familiar with all the movements. Why don't you have a little bit about exercising for easy reference. Now, are we all ready? Good. Well, let's try a nice, easy exercise to start you off with. This one's called the tummy toner. Now, this exercise is designed to tighten up those slack tummy muscles. First of all, lie on the floor, face up, with your head up near the door. Now, put your feet in the straps and take the hand straps above your head. Now, you just may have to adjust the straps at this point so that your feet just clear the floor. Okay, are we all ready now? Good. Now, keeping your legs and arms straight, pull down on your hand straps and raise your legs. The muscles in your arms and legs and stomach should all of them work together. Now, raise your legs as high as you can and then lower them to the floor again. Now, let's try with a little bit of rhythm this time. Okay, are we all ready now? And away we go. Up, two, three, and down, two, three. Smoothly now, no jokes. And up, two, three, down, two, three. And up, two, three, and down, two, three. Now, with continuous exercising, you should be able to do at least 100 of these by the end of this week. And while you're in that position, let's move straight on to the second exercise. This one's called the high stepper. With your feet and hands still in the straps as they were before, bend one knee and bring it up right to your chest. And then, as you lower it, bring the other knee up in a kind of marching action. Now, with this one, it's important to flex the leg fully as you lower it and get the knee as close as possible to the chest. Got the idea? Right, left, 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 right. Now keep practicing that one because it's very good for the whole body. easy one called the thigh shaper. Now once again, assume the correct starting position. On your back, on the floor. Both feet in the straps, hands in the hand straps. Keeping them straight, raise your legs to a midway position, and that's about halfway between horizontal and vertical. Then lower one leg about 16 to 19 inches. Not to the floor, mind. And as you raise it again, lower the other leg the same distance. Repeat this scissor action as fast as you can go. One, two, 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 one, two. Can you feel those lazy muscles working for you? Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Everything's happening. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it up. One, two, one, two. And now you should gradually work your way up to 100 exercises. Now that you've got those under your belt, why not turn the record over and reap more benefits from your KTEL multi-exerciser? Like 
Like I say, when I got it, um, I've had this kicking around the place, and there's hardly no hum there either. You turn it right down, there's no mains hum. Nothing. Anyway, I've had this play. I've had this thing kicking around the place now for a few months, for a good few months, and when I got it, it had an open circuit output transformer. Um, just checking the badge on fell off the arm. Uh, it had an open circuit output transformer uh, which I replaced. Uh, it also had uh, a damaged speaker uh, which has since been replaced. I did actually do some capacitors. I've not changed the main filter, there's no point because the one that's in there is good. And I guarantee them anyway, so if it fails, I'll do it under a guarantee. I'm not bothered for the cost of them. Uh, I'm not doing it now, I don't see the need. And uh, it's, uh, yes, it's uh, working. I'm really happy at the way, uh, <coughs> really, happy the way, really happy with the way it's working. I've got to put a screw in there to tie all this together uh, that's got to be put a screw's got to go in there to so the, the controls don't flop about uh, the uh, I've replaced completely re replaced all the components in the in the preamp section which is two capacitors and I think three resistors replaced all those uh, all the, cap the, the the entire amp's been recapped except for the main smoother and the reservoir, they've not been done, there's no need, they're working. And they're right on the money as well, so... If they'd have been off the money, if they'd have been out of value too far, then I would have, uh, You know, but they're only out marginal, marginal, so I'm confident to, to say that they're on the money, so... <coughs> I'll get the lid back on, get, I'll get the, the rest of the screws that go in the side there to hold the controls stay but steady but nice and tight uh, I will give the motor another drink because it hasn't been used for a few months so I will re, re lubricate the motor uh, top and bottom bearings you don't need to see me do that you see me do it I'll put the lid back on put the inspection cover back on put the screws back in the motor board and I'll get it up for sale because uh, to be perfectly honest I don't really want it it's uh, 
you know, it's uh, it's a nice record player, but you know, uh, I don't really need it, and uh, I'd rather have the money. So, and uh, you know, it's not in bad nick for what it is. It's it is what it is. I mean, before I did this work on it, it used to vibrate like fuck, and there was a crackle. And I mean, when I say a crackle, it was a crackle and a half. It was a proper crackle. You couldn't not, you couldn't not accuse it of not being a crackle. And I thought it was a weak output transformer, but it wasn't. <coughs> it was a capacitor on the top of said transformer. It was one I'd put in, but I'd just put in what I had at the time, and I thought it would do the job, and it does. Just it, 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 it just induced a lot of uh, noise as well, you know. So uh, it wasn't doing the job effectively. But now the one I've put on is the correct value, and it's doing the job as it should. Uh, all the capacitors in this are the correct value. Um, I've been over the circuit. It had been messed with a bit. This circuit. Uh, somebody had been at it before me, and. Uh, I mean, the rectifier valve had been replaced by two diodes. Not that I mind that, I mean, I can live with that. Because it's a valve that's it's one less valve to fail. But, uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased because uh, when I first dug this out the other day, at the beginning of last week, I think it was about Monday or something, I got it out. When I got this out, I got it out thinking it was done and it was ready to go for sale. But I wasn't happy with it, not at all. And if I'm not happy, how can I expect anybody else to be? You know? So, basically. Uh, it sounded it sounded very muffled. Uh, there was hardly no treble in it. Uh, you know, there was no adjustment on the treble control. Uh, unless you turn the volume down. And if you turn the volume and the bass down, then you could hear the treble, but it wasn't quite right. So I rebuilt the tone circuit. Now the bass is a bit, now the bass is a bit soft, but I'm not bothered about that because, you know, uh, the, the, you know, there's only so much you can do. <coughs> but at least now all the controls do do something. I mean, I could put uh, different capacitors in to change the bass. And the treble response, but you know, is it really worth it? You know, because this is going to go on marketplace, and I'm going to get somebody try haggling me down. I mean, I'm not going to take anything. I'm not. Look at that. It looks like I've come out with the right disease, done it there, because it looks. I haven't. It's the hairs on my hand. You know, look at that. The camera shows up all my pimples and everything. Is that me? Oh no, it's not. It's uh, some marks on the on the monitor. Uh, some of it's me. Yeah, it looks like I've got a dose of herpes or something. Anyway, that being said, um, you know, I, I, I couldn't and I didn't want to sell it in the condition it was in. Uh, there was hardly no output. I mean, I used this cartridge. I put this cartridge in it thinking, oh, the cartridge will solve it. Because I had that brown one in and I thought that brown BSR full high. I had that in and I thought, oh, I'll put this in, this will solve it, and it didn't. Uh, you know, it sounded just the same, if, if not a bit lower. So, you know, I thought, well, what I'll do, because this should work with a medium output cartridge, no problem. Because it's got two valves in it, and both them valves, one of them's a preamp. So it should, it should work. Oh. It should work really, I mean that works without an amplifier, you all heard that. Uh, <clears throat> so it should work really with a, with a medium sensitive cartridge and you shouldn't have to have a high, you shouldn't have to have a high output cartridge in this. You know, don't care what you say, the circuit tells you that. Anyway, oh fuck me, that stinks folks, you want to be glad you're not here. More than two sniffs of that, I thought, I thought my nose was blocked, that made its way through. Ooh. Where's Mildred when you need a fart sniffing up? Uh, anyway, uh, 
But that's pretty much it, folks, for this uh, little dance set. It's done. Um, you know, what more can I say? You know, it's done. I'm happy with it. It's working. I'm happy with it. I mean, uh, I will put, I will, I will list it for sale, but I won't list it for sale tonight. I'll list it for sale probably Monday. I'll use it over the weekend. But I have been using it. With, I don't even need to do that, to be honest. I have been using it for the last couple of days with a cassette deck. I've been playing cassettes through it. Uh, while I've been busy with other things in here. You know, uh, doing things on the computer. I've been listening to cassettes on this and I've used this amplifier for it. So, really, you know, uh, I can put it up for sale straight away, really. Because it has been tested. I know the amp's good. And... Uh, you know, but there, there was very low output. I mean, there was there was there was really nothing. Uh, even even with a cassette deck on it, uh, I tried a cassette deck on it. I didn't I didn't bother filming that all that, but I did try a cassette deck on it. Uh, I think we've got a bit of footage with a cassette deck on it now, uh, <clears throat> but uh, I tried it with a cassette deck, and even with a cassette deck, it sounded it sounded lousy. But it, but it sounded shrill. When you turn the volume fully up, it sounded shrill. And it, re it actually hurt your ears, to be perfectly honest. It was at the point where it hurt your ears. And uh, so I did a bit of experimenting. And I put a 2UF. Uh, a 2UF, I think it was for the... I might say this the wrong way around. But, but, but uh, you know... Don't punish me too hard if I do. I put a 2UF in for the treble. And... Uh, so, so, sorry, a zero... A point zero to... Uh, point zero zero... Uh, two... UF for the, for the treble. Which is what it should have been. But for the bass... I put... A... Zero. I put a zero point four seven uh, microfarad in for the bass, and I dare say that could be improved upon. I could put another value capacitor, and if anybody's got any ideas, then yeah, let me know. You know, uh, if I can increase the bass, it does lack a bit on bass. If I could increase the bass response, I would. You know, but if anybody has any ideas and they want to, uh, they want to convey this information, because uh, let's face it, share, YouTube is all about sharing, isn't it? It's like it's in a quality street. You know, you share it with your mates. I mean, I'm going, folks. This is my daughter. I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.